entered the intergalactic bike race and is trying out her new rocket bike. It's super fast. Okay, Emma, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> uh, Emma, you know you need to pedal to make a bike go, right? I know, just, just a second. Emma, do you need help with the kickstand? No, ah! don't touch it. This bike is too big. I'll fall. Don't be afraid, Emma. Riding a bike is easy. You just need to give it a shot and don't overthink things. You can't learn if you don't try. Hmm. Maybe that's it. Maybe Emma needs to try something that's more her speed. Like a bike that she's more comfortable with. Yeah! And there's lots of different bikes in the robot galaxy to choose from. And finding a bike that's more my speed can't hurt. That's the spirit, Emma. And that sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Place where we can find Emma the perfect bike. I think we can give that a spin. Let's see where you can go. The cheese planet? There are lots of cheese wheels there, but you can't learn to ride on them. Ooh. Oh, race planet? Uh, I think we need to start with a place that's a little bit slower. Oh, the bike planet. Perfect! Yes, the bike planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. trade your rocket bike in for a new one. Okay, but the big bike race is tomorrow. I won't have much time to practice on a new bike, will I? Sure you will, if you start right now. Hmm. Check this out. Ooh. It's a unicycle. The uni in unicycle means one, one wheel. See? One wheel? Oh, gee, I don't know, TK. A unicycle looks kind of hard. Hard? I get around on one wheel every day. It's easy peasy. Hmm. Hmm? Just remember, Emma, don't think and keep pedaling. That's the key. Hmm. Okay, Emma, on the count of three. One, two... Are you sure this is a good idea? Uh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Pedal fast to keep your balance, Emma. Whoa! It's too high! I can't uh, reach the pedal! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe using one wheel isn't for everybody. Too high. 
not all of them. Huh? Wow, that looks cool. What is it? It's a scooter. It's not too fast or too high. All you have to do is keep your head up and steer where you want it to go. But how do you make it go? It doesn't have any pedals. Just give it a push. Hop on, Emma. I'll show you. Hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> See? You're riding. Now there's nothing stopping you from entering that race. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of stopping, where are the brakes on this thing? <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh, don't worry, we won't need brakes if we're flying. Flying? Ah! <gasps> Yikes! I can't look! <gasps> huh? What happened? Rob. <sighs> but you know what? I just don't think I'm cut out for bike riding. It doesn't seem to matter if it's one wheel, two wheels, or... <gasps> Three! I've got the perfect solution! Wait here, I'll be right back. Me too! I mean... Three! <laughs> hmm. It's a tricycle! The tri in tricycle means three. This bike is low to the ground, has brakes, and it has three wheels. So it can't tip over. Nice. Gee, um, it looks safe, but isn't it a bit too small? Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh. Much too small. Emma needs a bike with a lot more oomph, like this. <laughs> race for sure. Aw, thanks, guys. You were right. I just needed to stop overthinking everything and go for it. <laughs> and that's what I'd say is a big wheeling mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? the intergalactic bike race. But first, she needed to learn how to ride. So we went to the bike planet to find the perfect bike for her. We learned that uni means one and tri means three. 
but no matter how many wheels Emma had on her bike, she didn't feel comfortable riding any of them. That was until Orbit found himself in a bit of trouble. Luckily for him, Emma stopped thinking about falling down and only thought about saving her friend. Great job, Emma. And mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! You're just in time. Emma's teaching us a new song. songs to learn. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Great, Rob. Now let's try a new... John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Oh. His name is my name too. Rob, why do you keep doing that? I don't know. It just keeps popping out. John Jacob Something's Jingleheimer Schmidt. Something's wrong. I better take a look with my robot reader. Whenever we go out... Oh no! That song is stuck in Rob's robot memory bank. We need to fix you, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. Whenever we go out, and you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I have a tune stuck in my head, and we need to find a place where we can unstick it. It sounds like you need a tune-up. Let's see where you can go. The wind-up planet? I think that song has Rob wound up enough. Mm -hmm. The sandwich planet? We need to fix Rob's memory, not fix his sandwich. Yes, the repair planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. from my memory bank. 
I don't know if that's a good idea. I need that song out of my head for good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, how do you feel? I feel great! And is the song gone? What song? <laughs> And who are you guys? <laughs> Good one, Rob. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this Rob sounds like a funny guy. Where is he? I'd like to meet him. <gasps> oh, no. Huh? I think Rob erased his whole memory. Who erased his memory? Who's Rob? Uh-oh. You remember me, though, right? I'm Norbit. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Norbit. Not Norbit, Orbit! Ah! <laughs> He's funny. I like Norbit. Orbit! Ah! Phew, that's lucky. Rob's memories are still there, but for some reason, he can't remember anything. Oh, no. Poor Rob. Yeah, poor Rob. We should go help him. Come on! Orbit, we will. Every robot repair manual in the galaxy is stored in this library. So while I look for the one we need to fix Rob... Hey, ah! did you know there's a big rocket ship parked out here? Cool! <sighs> you two try to find a way to jog Rob's memory. If he can remember just one thing, it might bring his memory back. Okay, come on, Emma. Let's go introduce Rob to Rob. Huh? <laughs> Hey, buddy, what you doing? I'm still trying to find your friend Rob, but I can't see him. Ah! <sighs> what are you doing? This is no time to watch a TV show. Yes, it is. This is a video of all the fun things we've done together. Hmm. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Guess what? We found Rob. He's right up there. Really? He is? Hi, everyone. I'm Rob. <laughs> Here we go. Anything? Oh. <gasps> huh? Who are we talking about again? Ah, no, 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 no! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well. At least his rocket boots still work. Rocket boots? I've got rocket boots? You mean I can fly? <laughs> Uh-oh. You know what? I can't remember how to fly. Oh, no. What a mess. We'll never find Rob's repair manual now. Don't say that. We have to find it. We need to fix Rob. I can see you guys are busy, so I'll just head back home. Even though I can't remember where I live. I'll we'll see ya! Oh no. He's leaving. It's no use. The Rob we knew is gone. His singing wasn't that bad. I'd do anything to have the old Rob back. Silly singing and all. John Jingle and I Schmidt. His name Whenever we go out, the people always shout, they say, John Jingle Jingle High la 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 Hey, I 
remember that song. You do? Do you remember me? How could I forget you, Orbit, and Emma, and TK? I remember everything. Rob's back! Woohoo! And if Rob wants to sing, let him sing. We'll even join you. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you mention it, there is one thing I'd like to sing about, and that's another... Hmm, another... Um... Uh, another big mission accomplished! Yeah! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? flying to the repair planet and trying to get that song out of my head, I accidentally erased my memory. TK Orbit and Emma tried hard to fix me. They felt bad when nothing worked, until their singing finally jogged my memory back. Memory is being able to remember things, like places you visited or fun times with your friends. Without those memories, we just wouldn't be the same. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Repair Planet! female aviator, or pilot. <laughs> she flew airplanes just like your model, Rob. It's a tail dragger airplane. Is that what this is? Cool. <laughs> I think so. I love all airplanes. Tail draggers in tricycle gear planes, oh. biplanes and jets. Wow, <gasps> you know a lot about planes, TK. I just wish we could see a real one. Maybe we can. There must be some place in the galaxy where we can see real old-fashioned airplanes. Yeah, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see real airplanes. That sounds like a high-flying idea. Let's see where you can go. Spare part planet? That's a good place to find airplane parts, but we don't want to build one. Book planet? We don't want to read about airplanes. We want to see them. The Aviation Planet! That's it! That's the perfect place to see old airplanes! Yes, the Aviation Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! The aviation. 
Martian planet. gear airplane. Oh. Uh-huh. And this one is a biplane. Oh. That one's a jet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Those are tail dragger airplanes, similar to your model, Rob. Rob? one thing, and landing a plane is a whole other bucket of bolts. Landing? I never even thought of that! I'm pretty sure Rob and Emma haven't thought of it either. Rob? Emma? Tell me you know how to land a plane! Land? Uh, well, not exactly. Rob? I've landed the rocket plenty of times, but not an old airplane. Rockin' robots. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. All right, stay calm, follow my instructions, and you'll land the plane just fine. Roger that, TK. We're all ears. Okay, first, line up with the runway and put your flaps down. That'll slow you down. Check. Check. Now, 
Pull back on the throttle. That'll slow you down even more. Roger that. Now, choose a landing spot on the runway. Emma, you come down first. Ugh, I can't watch. That's it. Now cut the power and pull the throttle back. Okay. Thank goodness you know so much about planes. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have landed safely. That's the plain truth, all right. We shouldn't have been up there. You saved us. Hooray for TK! I say this is <laughs> one sky high mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? planet to see real airplanes. Only Rob and I got carried away. Up, up and away, into the air. Flying a plane was fun, but landing it was a whole other matter. Thankfully, TK was there to help us. Following TK's instructions, we landed safely. Next time, we'll pay more attention to rules and not get carried up, up and away. A soaring mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Aviation Planet! Just in time, we're going to play our favorite card game, Robo Go Fish. Okay, are you ready to play? We sure are, Rob. You know it. How about you, Orbit? Are you ready to play? Jump! Look out! <laughs> yes! I got the golden banana! I just love Banana Bonkers 3. It's my favorite video game in the whole galaxy. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun, but we're hoping that you'd like to play with us instead. Yeah, we need four players to play Robo Go Fish. Uh, no thanks. I'm not hungry. I had Robo Fish for lunch. Huh? huh? Gee, Orbit's not paying attention to anything except his game. How can we get him to play with us? I think I know how. Watch this. Hey, Orbit! How would you like to go to a place where you can have tons of fun without video games? <laughs> sure, sounds fun. Oh, golden banana! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a planet full of games, but no video games allowed. Sounds like a fun mission to me. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The museum planet? We can't play inside a museum. 
he might break something. <laughs> Book planet. Hmm, no. It's rare to play and make noise while people are reading. The game planet! That's the one! <laughs> yeah! Yes, the game planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the game planet. Wow, cool. Look at all the games. Wee! There's something fun for everyone to do on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> you can play. Orbit, you've got to try this. But I'm almost at the fourth level. Hey, can I borrow your charger, TK? Huh? Sure, but, uh, thanks. I can use the rocket's batteries to recharge my game super fast. I'll be banana bunking again in no time. Yeah, and not playing with us. Hmm. <laughs> You know, Orbit, while your game is recharging, you could play with us. I'd like to, but I want to play my game the second it's charged. Oh, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> <laughs> Sure are having fun. But is it more fun than bonking bananas? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> huh? <laughs> okay, now that looks like fun. I'm sure my video game can wait. Hey guys, save a ride for me! <laughs> with your friends is a lot more fun than playing with... <gasps> My video game! It's all charged up! <laughs> Orbit, you're running too far! The finish line is this way! Come back! <laughs> it works! Yahoo! It's time to bonk some bananas! In a snack would go great with all this banana 
bonking? Huh? <gasps> hey, Rocket! Open the door! Ah! Orbit, what's wrong? Well, when I used Rocket's batteries to charge my game, I think I used too much. Look! Rocket, open up! <gasps> oh, dear. Rocket doesn't have enough energy to open the hatch. And if the hatch won't open, we can't get back inside. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure we'll figure this out. All we have to do is put our heads together. And come up with a powerful idea. But we need to think fast. The sun is going down. It'll be dark soon. That's it! The sun! We can use solar power to recharge the ship. Solar power is energy from the sun. We can use it to recharge the ship after collecting it with this. Huh? charge Rocket's batteries all the way. Aw, and we were so close. All we needed was just a smidge more energy. Hmm. That's all we need to open the hatch? Just a smidge more? Orbit, this is not the time to be thinking about your video game. Now, to reverse the charge. of you to help charge Rocket back up, Orbit. But now your video game doesn't work. Oh, uh, that's okay. As long as I have you guys to play with, I don't need to bonk any more bananas today. We'll play any game you like, Orbit. And you know what else? I think this is another big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the Game Planet to help show Orbit how to have fun without playing video games. Orbit wanted to wait for his game to charge up, but when he saw how much fun we were having, he was all charged up to play too. Orbit gave up his video game to help recharge Rocket and learn that having fun with friends, not video games, is the best fun of all. My, what a powerful mission that was. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Game Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're getting ready for movie time. <laughs> Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> Four. Three. Two. Wait a minute. Aren't we missing something? Uh, we have our movie. Check. We have our nice comfy couch. Check. And we have our... <gasps> galloping galaxies. We forgot our grape juice. <gasps> we can't watch a movie without our favorite tree. I'll go grab us some. Ah! We're all out. Huh? huh? But we always have grape juice for our movies. What are we gonna do? <laughs> sounds like we'll just have to go and get some more. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control.
control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some grape juice. Oh, delicious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Lemon juice planet? Hmm, I'm kind of sour on that idea. <laughs> Crepe planet? Sounds close, but we want grapes, not crepes. <laughs> the grape juice planet! The perfect place to find our favorite movie time treat! <laughs> Yay! Yes, the grape juice planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt! Stop the grape juice planet. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Hmm. This looks like a giant juicer, but there's no juice inside. Maybe Mission Control got the planets mixed up. Where's all the grape trees? <laughs> Grapes don't grow on trees, Orbit. They grow on vines. And we're surrounded by grape vines. All we need to do is pick some of the grapes, squash them up, and we'll have our own homemade grape juice. Mm. <laughs> Yummy! Awesome! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Huh? The grapes are all gone! What happened? Who took them all? Hey, I think I found some! Grapes! 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 What is that? Grapes! 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 Aw, look how cute! Those crows want grapes, too! Grapes! 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 Huh? Grapes! 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 We sure do! Grapes, They're eating grapes. them all! Grapes! 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 Those crows are the ones taking all the grapes. They're not leaving any for us. Yeah, don't they have any manners? Haven't you ever heard of sharing? These grapes aren't just for you. So, yeah, uh, we were wondering if we could have some grapes too, so we can make grape juice. Hey! Grapes, grapes! Grapes, 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 Orbit, are you okay? I'm okay, but they're not sharing with us. And it looks like they're going to eat the last of the grapes. Ooh, those sneaky crows. Maybe I have something in my tummy trunk to shoot them off. Straw? This won't help. Uh, sticks? Hmm, that won't do. Uh, huh? What are we going to do with the box of old clothes? <gasps> TK, you're brilliant. Alone, these things won't help, but together, just what we need. Huh? Grapes, 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 grapes. Okay, Orbit, you distract the crows while TK, Emma, and I get set up. 
Um, okay. I sure hope this works. and clothes didn't work, but together they make a scarecrow. But will the scarecrow work? The crows weren't afraid of us. But we're just little. Our scarecrow is big. Grapes? Grapes? Oh, crows! Grapes? Over here! Grapes! 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 Thank you, who? Grapes! 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 This way! And I'd say that's a win. I, uh, I kind of feel bad for tricking the crows. Now we're acting just like they were. Oh, Gracie Gears, you're right. Maybe we should show them how to share. There's still enough grapes here for everybody. Oh, Mr. Crows. Would you like to share some grapes with us? There's enough here for everyone. some new friends, but we now have our yummy grape juice for movie time. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? grape juice for movie time, but we were all out, so we went to the Grape Juice Planet for more. Grape juice is made by squashing up juicy grapes, but all of the planet's grapes were missing. It turned out that a flock of hungry crows was eating them all up. Since they wouldn't share, we decided to build a scarecrow to help chase them away. But that's when we realized we were acting just like the crows. We weren't sharing either. We decided to give some of the grapes back to the crows and they return the favor by helping us make grape juice. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, crow friends. Goodbye, grape juice planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're doing our exercises. <sighs> Reach up to touch the sky, then down to touch your toes. I like exercising. Me too. <laughs> oh. oh! Are you okay? I don't know. Suddenly I feel really tired. Huh? Like I have no energy. 
Um, <laughs> here's the problem. Rob's robot batteries are low. No wonder you're feeling tired, Rob. You're running out of energy. <laughs> Come on, Rob. A little time on our robot charging pad and you'll feel as good as new. Strange. Usually I feel all charged up when I stand on the charging pad. Hmm. Uh, uh-oh. I think it's broken. It's not sending out any power at all. Oh, no. What will we do? I get my energy by eating healthy foods like fruits and vegetables. But I'm not a robot like you guys. Yeah, and we robots need energy. And you know what else we need? A new charging pad. Yeah. That sounds like a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Our charging pad is broken, and we need to find a new one. Fast. OK, let's see where you can go. The jungle planet has lots of plants, even lily pads, but not any robot charging pads. Mm. A tasty sandwich would sure give me lots of energy, but it wouldn't charge Rob back up. The power planet? I bet there are lots of robot charging pads there. Mm -hmm. Yes, the power planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. is making. It's the Tower of Power. There should be some charging pads over there. Mm -hmm. Come on, Rob. I'm coming. Wait for <sighs> me. <sighs> oh, no. Rob can hardly move. Don't worry, Orbit. We'll get Rob recharged and re-energized. Won't we, Rob? We sure will. Let's <gasps> go. Hold on, Rob. We need to conserve what little energy you have left. Oh, good. <sighs> but how, TK? Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> hey! Hop in, Rob. <laughs> we'll give you a lift. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yay! A charge pad! Oh. Oh. oh! What's wrong, TK? Why isn't it recharging Rob? Oh. There's just not enough power stored up right now, that's why. I'm the caretaker here. It's my job to make sure all the power generators are running. But I've been so tired lately. Is that why there's no power? I've got no energy. I can't recharge my batteries. 
and I can't keep up with all the work. The power planet generates power three ways. Through solar power, wind power, and good old-fashioned wheel power. Together, they make enough power to run the whole planet when they're working. Maybe we can help. Yeah! Oh, that'd be nice. Then rest easy, caretaker. Oh, no, you don't, Rob. You save your energy. We'll fix the generators. Come on. <gasps> When the windmill is turning, it makes energy, but it's stopped. I know. The old girl needs someone to grease her gears. I can do that. I have lots of energy. <laughs> Those are big flowers. These solar flowers collect energy from the sun, just like real flowers. And the bigger they are, the more energy they collect. But why aren't they working? I don't know. Hmm. Why don't they go take a look? Hmm. What do you see, Orbit? I see... dirt. Yeah. These flowers are really dirty. No wonder they're not getting any sun. Hmm. Come back down, Orbit. I think I know what to do. Okay, I greased the windmill gears. Now what do I do? Hey, what? Oh, 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 good work. Now give her a whirl and see if she twirls. a bit more energy. What did we forget to fix? Mm. <gasps> the big wheel! <laughs> <laughs> Orbit, what are you doing? Creating energy! Look! <laughs> it's fun, but it sure takes a lot of energy to make energy. needed a boost, but Rocket's charging pad was broken, so we went to the power planet to find a new one. We found out how important energy is to everyone, 
and learned all about using wind power, solar power, and big wheel power to generate energy and get the power planet charged up again. And me too. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Power Planet! Hi, everyone! You're just in time to see our new cuckoo clock! I love our cuckoo clock! Me too! I like how it sounds. Tick, tock, tick, tock. <laughs> I like when the cuckoo bird pops out. He's cuckoo. He does that every hour. And look, do you all know what time it is? Yeah, sure. It's, um, uh... It's time to go cuckoo. Huh? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> we counted three cuckoos. That means it's three o'clock. Oh, boy, oh, boy, it's dinner huh? time. Orbit, it's not dinner time. We eat dinner at five o'clock. Oh, and hmm, what time is it now? Uh, huh? Say, Orbit, how would you like to get some practice telling time? That would be great, as long as we're done in time for dinner. That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where Orbit can practice telling time. Sounds like it's time for some fun. Okay, let's see where you can go. The music planet? Uh, that's a good place to practice the piano, but not for telling the time. The mineral planet? There are lots of rocks on the mineral planet, but not lots of clocks. Oh, the clock planet! That's the perfect place for our mission. <laughs> yes, the clock planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. clock is different. I wonder why. Maybe they're cuckoo clocks. You know, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> cuckoo. <laughs> so, Orbit, which clock would you like to practice on? Well, since I need a lot of practice, how about all of them? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> has a nice face. Huh? What? Clocks have faces? <laughs> Not real faces, Orbit. That's just where the clock numbers go. And without the numbers, we'd have a hard time telling the time. Uh... Oh, hi there. I think he wants to help me practice. The big hand counts the minutes, and the little hand counts the hours, and the hour always comes first. 
so orbit, what time does that say? Hmm, let's see. The little hand is pointing at the two, and the big hand is pointing at the three. So that means it's three, two? Not quite, Orbit. May I? Remember, the little hand is the hour hand, and the hour goes first. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and each number equals five minutes, so you count by five. Okay, and if the little hour hand is on the two, and the big minute hand is on the three, then that means it's five, 10, 15, 215? Yes! That's right! <laughs> Good job! Huh? Whoa! Look at that clock! It looks like our cuckoo clock, only a lot bigger. Yeah! I'm gonna practice on that one next. Come on! Look! The little hand is pointing at the four, and the big hand is pointing straight up, which means it's four o'clock, right? Yes, that's right. Perfect. Now you're getting it, Orbit. And if it's four o'clock, you know what that means. It's time to go cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, cuckoo, cuckoo. Now I see. The big clock tells the other clocks what time it is. There he is! Hi, Cuckoo! Hi, Cuckoo! Hi, Cuckoo! Hi, Cuckoo! <gasps> I'm okay! Don't worry! I have everything under control! exactly how time works, Orbit. No time to talk! After that cuckoo, cuckoo bird! Whew! He's hard to catch. That cuckoo bird is really wound up. No wonder! He lives in a clock! We have to keep trying. Because if we put him back in the big clock, the other clocks will start ticking again. Uh, and dinner time will be saved! Shh! Quiet, Orbit. Here he comes. Ha! Fun's over, Cuckoo Bird. It's time to get back in your clock and stop going. Hi, Cuckoo! Oh. Yipe! Um, um, do I look cuckoo to you? <laughs> Okay, let's see. The little hand is almost on the five, and the big hand is almost at the twelve. Ah! That means it's almost five o'clock! <gasps> Dinner time! And that means we don't have much time left. What will we do? <sighs> I don't know. You'd have to be cuckoo to catch that silly bird. Huh? Hey, that's a great idea. I can go cuckoo. Come on, guys, follow me. Tell the time. I did? When? 
Corbett, you've been telling the time the whole time. Uh... And you know what that means. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? having trouble telling the time. So we went to the Clock Planet, a place with lots of clocks so Orbit could practice. He learned that all clocks have hour hands and minute hands. Orbit liked the big cuckoo clock the best, but the cuckoo bird got away. Without the cuckoo bird, the big clock couldn't tell the other clocks what time it was, but Orbit could, and he caught that silly cuckoo just in time. That's how I learned to tell the time. And right now, it's dinner time, but I don't need a clock to tell me that. <laughs> well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Clock Planet. Everyone, you're just in time. Oh, we can't find Orbit. He's not down here. <laughs> what? Huh? Hmm. Maybe he's up in the attic. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like he's up to something. <laughs> the buttons, were you? <laughs> what? Oh, uh... No! I don't know what happened. It, uh... Uh... It just stopped on its own. <gasps> Maybe it's broken. Oh, no. Elevators are hard to fix. And it's hard to explore planets with a broken elevator. We'll need to get a new one right away. That sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? The rocket's elevator's broken. We need to find a new one. Oh, dear. Perhaps I can help lift your spirits. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? We need a new elevator to lift us up and down, not a place to lift weights. The fair planet has lots of fun rides, but not the type of ride we're looking for. Hey, the <laughs> elevator planet. Perfect. Yes, the elevator planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
to our old elevator and try fixing it. Why? No! It's broken! We need a new one! You said so yourself! Yes, but be honest, Orbit. You know how much TK loves to fix things. Honest? What do you mean? I'm being honest. I, I mean, you know, just think of all the fun we'll have finding a new elevator. Let's go! Look at this one. This one must lead to a big tree. See? That's an up arrow orbit. You press it and the elevator goes up. <gasps> it does? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go up! <laughs> uh, next stop... Oh, the beach! <laughs> a beach would be great if we wanted to lie in the sun every day, uh, but... Lie? Who's lying? Not me. Nuh uh. No, sir. Orbit, is something bothering you? What? No, I'm fine. Hey, I think I get it. Look, each button has a sign, and the picture tells us where the elevator goes. Oh, I see. So this green button will take us to. An upside down tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, Orbit. The arrow symbols on an elevator tell us which direction it goes up or down. See? Oh, so that's what those buttons mean. Uh, I knew that. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! It was, but we don't need an elevator that goes to different places. We need to find one that fits with our rocket. Or maybe we really should try to just fix our old elevator. Or we could just keep looking. I mean, it's the elevator planet. There has to be an elevator that we like here. Oh, hey, how about this one? It looks like this one travels to a planet, just like we do. It's perfect. Um, are you sure that's a planet orbit? It looks kind of like a... Going up! <laughs> a countdown? Uh -oh. Why are we counting down? Three. That's not good. Two, one. planet? It's a moon! And moons don't have any... Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Gravity! Ah! Oh, gotcha! Hang on, Emma! <clears throat> and I got you, Rob! <clears throat> and I've got TK! Whoa! <gasps> oh! Phew, that was close. If it wasn't for orbit, we'd be in orbit by now. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be here in the first place. This is all my fault. What do you mean? Uh, I, I fibbed about the elevator. I was playing with the buttons, not knowing what they were for. Then I pushed the big red button and... Oh, uh, I broke the rocket's elevator. Orbit, that's it. Now we know why Rocket's elevator stopped working. We need to get back to the ship. Ta-da! It's fixed. But how? You didn't break the 
elevator orbit. You just pushed the wrong button by mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have been honest from the start, but I thought you'd be mad at me. You should never be afraid of telling the truth, Orbit. We're your friends, and friends are always there to help and understand. Really? Thanks, guys. But now we're whole days being wasted. Wasted? Not at all. We had a great day. Sure, we had our shares of ups and downs. But this was one of the best missions ever. Yeah. And I'd say it's a big <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Rocket's elevator was broken, so we went to the elevator planet to find a new one. We had a lot of fun trying to find the right elevator, even though Orbit was acting kind of funny. We could tell something was bothering him, and it turned out Orbit was afraid to tell us what really happened to Rocket's elevator. He was afraid we'd be upset if he told us the truth. But good friends will always understand if you're honest with them, and when Orbit finally told us the truth, we knew right away how to fix the problem. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Elevator Planet. Ready or not? Everyone, we're playing rocket tag. Come on! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm Mitt, and I'm gonna get you. I don't think so. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> oh, you're it. Mm. Hey Emma, aren't you playing tag? Hmm? No, I'm reading. Reading what? A storybook about a gallant green knight. I wish I could meet a real knight, one who is brave and wears armor and has gracious manners, like in my book. Hey, there must be some place in the galaxy where we can meet a knight. Huzzah! That sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can meet a real knight. That sounds like a noble idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Treehouse planet? I don't think we'll find a knight there. Too hard to climb a tree in armor. That planet? No way can a knight take a bath in his armor. sure to find a knight there. <laughs> yes, the medieval planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
book. Hi! I'm Emma. I'm so excited to meet you. And these are my friends, Rob, Orbit, and TK. You mean fans? What do you think of my armor? Nice, huh? It's made by the best blacksmith in the galaxy. Uh, uh, sure, but you dropped your uh, uh, shield. Mine. Uh. Well, that was a bit rude. I don't understand it. The Green Knight in my story was so polite and charming. Look, he's coming back. I bet he wants to apologize. Let me guess. There's something you'd like to say to us. Yes, there is. Ahem. I challenge you, Sir Rob, to an archery match. Archery? <laughs> You're wrong! My turn! Hey. Hold this! Okay! Oh, look! A oh. green eyed dragon! What oh. dragon? <laughs> look! I won! I'm the winner! The winner! The winner! Hey! That's cheating! <laughs> nah, -uh, it's not! So much for my gallant green knight. He's anything but gallant. Yeah, he's a big old cheater. Hmm. I know how to settle this. I challenge you to a catapult contest, green knight. Then we'll see who's the winner. You're on. Me first. <sighs> this knight has no manners at all. <gasps> ah, beat that! Your turn, Rob. You can do this. <laughs> Watch. This is how it's done, big guy. <laughs> no, no, stop! Ah! <gasps> hey, that was not. Was too. I'm the winner. Come on, <laughs> that should be a do-over, right? You know, a knight needs to be more than just big and and full of armor. Yes, knights are supposed to be polite and honest and. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Stuck. This is not funny. Let me out. No. <gasps> That's it. We're putting this knight in his place once and for all. Uh, after we rescue Rob, I'll take care of this. Huh? Huh? Can we have the key to the wagon, Mr. Knight? No. But you have to. Or, or... Or I'll tickle you! I'm not ticklish. <clears throat> Green Knight, this is silly. You have to let our friend go. Okay, I'll let him go if you can guess the magic word. Magic word? That's easy. Finally, some manners. The magic word is please. Nope. <laughs> huh? What other magic word is there? Abracadabra? Castle? Huzzah? Huh. I bet the Green Knight doesn't even have a magic word. Do too. I don't believe you. I think you've forgotten it. I have not. It's fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks. <clears throat> I said it. Now you have to let Rob go free. What? <laughs> Fine. But the last one of the stocks is a rotten egg. Wow! Uh, I win! 
again, but uh, I'm stuck. Whoa, what happened here? Oh, are you okay? Here, we'll help get you out. Huh? Why would you help me after the way I treated you? Cuz, it's important to be helpful, courteous, and polite to others. Even if others don't always have manners of their own. I don't know what to say. I guess I could be more courteous and polite, only... I don't know how. I have a book that might help. It's all about a good and gallant knight. I could lend it to you if you say the magic word. Fiddlesticks? Oh, no, wait. Not that word. I know. Please. Huzzah! He's got it. Thank you. Aw, oh, you're welcome. I'd say our gallant green knight is off to a great start. I'd say this is one noble mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the medieval planet to meet a great and gallant knight, like the one in Emma's book. Only the green knight we met was anything but gallant. He wasn't polite or helpful at all. All the green knight did was misbehave, and he ended up getting stuck in the stocks. Even though he had been mean to us, we decided to help him out, and the green knight realized what it meant to be gallant. He even borrowed my storybook, so he could learn more about being a good and gallant knight. Huzzah! A greatly gallant mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Medieval Planet! Oh, hi, everyone! You're just in time! Orbit made his own fair ride. Woohoo! Higher! 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 That's as high as it goes. <sighs> this ride is too much work. You know, we could try to find an actual fair. Then you wouldn't have to work at anything. Why didn't I think of that? There must be some place where we can ride some real rides. High ones, too. Uh, high ones? Yes, TK, really high ones. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can ride some real fun fair rides. Looking for some fair play, hmm? Okay, let's see where you can go. The horse planet? We want to ride roller coasters, not horses. Garden planet? The only thing to ride there are tractors. The fair planet! That's perfect! Yes, the fair planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
stop the Fair Planet. so the metal thingy goes all the way up and rings the bell. Oh, right. I, I knew that. But maybe Orbit should go first. There's no rush, after all. Don't be silly. This is your favorite. And the sooner we win, the sooner we can go on the ride. Oh. Er, uh... Whoa! Try the elevator ride. Wait, uh, why don't we uh, uh, have a snack first? But we should ride the elevator ride now. What if there's a lineup or a power outage? Or is that a candy apple stand? Oh, candy apples! Where? Where? Mmm, they look yummy. Tasty treats, tasty treats. Look at all my tasty treats. Isn't this awesome? It's awesome, all right. Let's take our time and enjoy. They have red candy apples, maple apples, chocolate apples. Look at all these candy apples. Orbit, you ruined our snack. Uh, sorry. It's okay. We can use up our tickets and get lots more. <laughs> I think we'll have to make snacks back on the rocket, TK. We need to keep some tickets for rides, remember? Come on! <laughs> mm, I remember. How high do you think it goes? Oh, I hope it goes all the way up to the clouds. No, higher than the clouds. Higher than the clouds? Hey, we almost walked right by the teacup ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty please with nuts and bolts on top? Let's ride it now. Well, okay. Even more awesome, the big, cool, high elevator ride. But couldn't we ride the teacup again? Huh? We just rode the teacup, TK. Oh, well, then maybe we could uh, play the hammer game again or have another snack. Is everything okay, TK? Oh, everything's great. I'm fine. Off to the elevator ride. <laughs> Wait. I'm scared. Scared? Well, why didn't you say so? You don't have to ride it if you don't want to, TK. We understand. Really? Phew. Okay, then. Um, what are we waiting for? I want to go straight to the top. You got it. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five! Wow, it's amazing up here. Hey, look, there's our rocket. <laughs> the 
They sure sound like they're having fun up there. Your turn, Rob. I'll work the controls. You two ready? Wait. I think I'd like to try. Really? As long as we go up slowly, okay? Of course. You're gonna love it. I'll hold your hand if you want, and we can come down whenever you want to. Okay, thanks. Ready? Here we go! This isn't so bad. Level two, please. This is fun! Higher, please! It's okay to be scared. Do you want to go down now? No. I just need a second. Hey, look! There's the snack shop! Oh, yeah! And there's the teacup ride! Higher, please, Emma! <sighs> it's so pretty up here! A little higher, please! TK, we can't go any higher! We're at the top! We are? That means... I did it! I really did it! Yay, Yay TK! TK! <laughs> was a blast. It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it would be. I guess I just needed to try it. Yeah! You did great, TK. What an awesome ride. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Well, today we visited the fair planet. Orbit, Emma, and I were excited to ride the elevator, but TK was scared. It took her a while to admit it, but she finally told us. When TK saw how much fun it was, she decided to give the ride a try. She found that by going slowly and taking things step by step, the ride wasn't scary at all. It was fun. I'm glad I gave it a try, with the help of my friends. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, fair planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's singing a song. make a movie of Emma singing her Rocket Girl song. An excellent idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. Ooh, 
The Craft Planet is a great place to make crafts, but not movies. Oh boy! I love the Popcorn Planet! It goes great with movies! It sure does. But let's go there after we make our movies. Yeah! The Movie Planet! That's the perfect place to record Emma's song. Yes, the Movie Planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. idea, Rob should be the director. The star has spoken. <laughs> Thank you, star Emma. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. So, how do we start? Uh, I have an idea. Since Emma's song is about flying across the galaxy, we'll make the stage look like Emma's in outer space. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Hey, Rob! Is this a microphone? It sure is. Good work, Orbit. That records the sound of Emma singing. The camera records Emma's dancing. Yeah! And that's what makes a movie. Oh. Orbit, could you please stop that? I'm trying to concentrate. I'll try, but I could sure use some help! Uh, Director Rob, could you help Orbit? I need to get ready to perform. Phew! That was close. Thanks, guys! You're welcome, Orbit. Huh? Emma, why didn't you help Orbit? It's not the star's job to move equipment around. It's the star's job to give a good performance. And to do that, I need to rehearse. Now, if you'll excuse <laughs> me, the star needs to do her vocal exercises. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Me, 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 huh? me. Golly, what's wrong with Emma? It sounds like she thinks this movie is all about her, 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 her. It's a door in the floor. A secret door. It must be a prop room. That's where they store things, like furniture and costumes. It's just like TK's tummy trunk, only bigger and under the stage. Emma, we're going down to the prop room. Are you coming with us? The prop room? <laughs> I bet it's all dusty and dirty down there. That's no place for a star. Huh? Well, all right. Just be careful not to step on this floor switch, okay, Emma? It closes the door. Emma? <laughs> oh, um, okay. Have fun down there. Ooh, a guitar. This will be perfect for my rock star performance. Wow, there's so many props. Imagine all the movies we could make. And all the music. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, this needs to be much louder. Hmm? That's not the volume control. Oh well, I've got to keep practicing. 
Hey! Who closed the door? Emma? <laughs> Open the door! Hey, Emma! Ooh. on the floor switch and close the door, Emma. Even though we asked you to be careful. Oh, you mean this is all my fault? Oh, no. I guess I was just too caught up in my practicing. I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? You've been doing all the work, and all I've been doing is acting like a movie star. <sighs> when without you, we couldn't even make a movie. That's okay, Emma. We understand. And you're right about needing everyone to make a good movie. So let's make one, together. Really? Yeah. Let's get rolling. All right. Places, everyone. And action. Way up high, way up where comets race. Far away stars in outer space. Great performance by our star, Rocket Girl Emma! Hooray! Thanks, guys. But I couldn't have done it without you. You're the real stars of this movie. Thanks, Emma. And that's what I call a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Everyone was so impressed by Emma's singing and dancing that we went to the movie planet to make a movie with Emma as the star. Being the star of the movie is important, but the work behind the scenes is just as important. Once Emma realized that, we made a movie that we can all enjoy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, You're just in time. Come on inside. We're playing explorer. An explorer is someone who looks for things that have been lost for a long time, like dinosaur bones. <laughs> or treasure. Hmm. Ooh, is that real treasure orbit? Huh? It is to me. It's my lucky coin. Real explorers never take the things they find. They leave them right where they found them and do a rubbing instead. With a crayon and a piece of paper, you can rub just about anything that's bumpy to make a picture, even Orbit's coin. Huh? Huh? Wow! Cool. <laughs> amazing! Now we can take this home to remember our amazing discovery. 
Wouldn't it be fun to go to a place where we can explore for real? Great idea, Emma. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to go someplace where we can go exploring. Oh, now that does sound exciting. Let's explore the possibilities. The cheese planet? That's a good place for a snack, but not so great for exploring. Puzzle planet? We want to explore ruins, not riddles. The Explorer Planet! That's perfect for our mission! <laughs> yes, the Explorer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! to make rubbings of our amazing discoveries. So, huh? which way is it to all the amazing mm. discoveries? Oh. Uh, oh, I know. My lucky coin will tell us. Ta-da! Oh. It helps me decide on all kinds of things. Star means we go that way. Moon means we go that way. Okay. We, we go, go that, that way! way. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Rockin' rockets! Look at that! <gasps> it's an explorer's dream! Yeah! Thanks, Lucky Coin! your coin mm. orbit. Everyone has something special they like to hang on to. But don't worry. We can still have a fun mission. Yeah, we're just getting started. And if we keep exploring, maybe we'll find your coin. Uh, but how can we find my lucky coin without my lucky coin to make us lucky enough to find it? Blazing Comet! <gasps> Look what I found! Ancient markings! Those are perfect for doing rubbings. I'll make a rubbing of the circle. I'm gonna do a square. And I'll make a triangle. That one reminds me of my coin. This will be a reminder of our exploring expedition. And of my lucky coin, too. That's the spirit orbit. See? Things aren't happening after all. Huh? <gasps> oh. Amazing! Oh. Look! Orbit made a discovery! 
story. I did? You sure did. Look, the star symbol opens the secret door and the square closes it. means. Hmm, maybe a snake? Or mm. a river? Or a... <gasps> wow! Sure isn't good luck. Neither's being trapped inside this ruin with no way out. Aww. Oh, if I still had my lucky coin, none of this would have happened. Yeah, maybe Orbit is right. Now you're all being silly. We don't need luck to help us. We just need to find a way out. But how will we ever find the way out without my... <gasps> lucky <gasps> Yummy! Our troubles are over. Now that I found this... Oh! Huh? Huh? And that's not all we found. Take a look at this. Huh? Huh? <gasps> look at all these shapes and symbols. Hmm. Pressing the star shape open the door to get in. Maybe pushing another star will open another secret door. Yeah! There's a star right there. <gasps> Look! It's the way out! I'll go for help. You guys wait here. Oh no! Rob's boots are broken! Maybe there's a hidden staircase. Or a ladder somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Hey! It's a triangle! Just like that one up there. Hmm. I wonder... Yeah. Huh? <gasps> it's an elevator! Nice going, Orbit! That's the way out, all right. But how do we get the elevator to come back down? Oh, what does your lucky coin say, Orbit? Can it show us the way? Hmm. Uh, no! We don't need a lucky coin to tell us that. Look! I remember. Press star shape to open, and square shape to close! <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Orbit figured it out! Okay, everybody, on to the triangle! Are you ready? Let's, Let's go! go! <laughs> <laughs> you need a lucky coin when you've got brains like mine. <laughs> Orbit. Hooray! And these rubbings will remind us of our biggest adventure ever. Yeah! You know what? I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we visited the Explorer Planet and discovered an ancient ruin. But when Orbit lost his lucky coin, he was worried that bad things would happen. And they did. We got trapped inside. Then Orbit found his lucky coin again. Orbit thought he needed it to help us find the way out, but he really didn't. That's how Orbit learned that it's a lot better to use your brains to solve a problem than to hope for good luck. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Explorer Planet! Ho, ho, ho! Ahoy there, me hearties! You're just in time! Thank <laughs> you.
you talking funny? Because today is intergalactic act like a pirate day, and I'm trying to act like a pirate. <gasps> oh no! What happened to your eye? Nothing, Orbit. My eye is just fine. It's a pirate eye patch. There's more to being a pirate than just looking like one and talking like one, isn't there? Hmm. Maybe there's a place we can go where we can learn how to act like pirates. For real. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can learn how to act like real pirates. Or Well, shiver me timbers. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The clown planet. <laughs> that looks like fun, but we want to act like pirates, not clowns. Oh. <gasps> Pet Planet has a lot of pets to play with, but not a lot of pirates. Oh! <laughs> Look! The Buccaneer Planet! <gasps> and Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Yeah! That's a great place for our mission! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, the Buccaneer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! like a real pirate. Repeat after me. Arr, shiver me timbers! Arr, shiver me timbers! Well, scupper me supper! That was all righty mateys! You sound just like pirates, sure and true. We do? Great! Great! Oh, right. But there be plenty more to know about acting like a real pirate. So follow me, me hearty. Listen to me, then a show ho ho and up we go over the briny sea. <laughs> Look at Nosebump go! <laughs> what kind of a dance is that? I know. It's called a jig. That's how real pirates dance. Sure and true, Miss Emma. Come on, everyone. Give it a whirl. If you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen. 
listen to me. Then it's yo ho ho and off we go over the briny sea. Stop the music! That's not the right way to dance a jig. Emma is a fine dancer. But you can't be adding spins or twirls to a pirate jig. It's the pirate way or no way. And the captain knows best. Okay, Nussbaum. You're the expert. We want to act like real pirates do, and we'll do whatever you say. Yeah, That's the spirit. Now, it's on to your next pirate lesson. There be the perfect spot to bury me treasure. Because every pirate knows that X marks the spot. Hmm? Oh boy, oh boy! I wonder what kind of treasure is inside the chest. Gold? Silver? Precious jewels? <laughs> nope. Oranges. Uh, I love oranges. And we pirates always bury our most prized possessions. It's the pirate way. But that doesn't make much sense. You should keep oranges in a refrigerator so they don't go bad. Ah, that's true. I've lost many an orange this way and more bananas than I can count. But it's the pirate way. And it's the pirate way or no way. Huh? 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 Arr, shiver me timbers. I'm stuck. <gasps> Arr, belay the tugging and pulling. The only way to get a pirate out of a treasure hole is to dig him out. Huh? That's the pirate way. Aye, aye, aye Captain. So, where's your shovel? I buried it. The favorite shovel it was. But it's around here someplace. Here, it lies where the X marks the spot. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> we'll find that shovel the pirate way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 we found it, Captain. We found your butter. Huh? So that's where those got to. There for making me perfect pirate pancakes. Ice skates and comic books? And a big bunch of balloons? Not just balloons, buccaneer balloons. In all me favorite colors they are. Yeah. This isn't working. There are too many X's. And it'll be dark soon. <gasps> Captain, I know you want us to dig you out the pirate way, but maybe there's another way to do that. But the pirate way is the only way. It's not the only way, Nosebump. Look, we can use the things we found to get you out. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> that slippery butter should do the trick. Now hold on, Captain, because here we yo-ho-ho -ho go! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Many thanks, me hearties. And I've learned me lesson. There's more than just the pirate way to get a deed done. <laughs> yeah. Like how eating oranges is better than burying them. Agreed. Well done. You're all officially pirates. Sure and true. Arr! 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 <laughs> thanks, Nosebump. I'd say this be another big mission. Accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to learn how to act like real pirates. So we went to the Buccaneer Planet to learn from Nosebump the Pirate. Arr! 
He was really stuck in his old pirate ways and thought that the pirate way was the only way to do something right. But when Nose Bump got stuck, he learned that it's important to try different ways to solve problems instead of sticking to the old way. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, And Mia just sent us some photos. Come on! Ooh. Your cousin sure looks like she's having fun. She found a painted egg. Yeah! That must be an excellent way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> it is. I wish we could go egg hunting. Well, why don't we? There must be some place in the galaxy to have a good egg hunt. Yeah! Sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can hunt for eggs. An egg hunt? That sounds like a cracking good idea. Let's see where you can go. Golf planet? That's a great place to find golf balls, but not eggs. Oh. Origami planet? Who's ever heard of an origami egg? Not me. The Egg Planet, an excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. I accidentally knocked over a big basket of eggs, and six of them rolled away. I need to find all of them right now. We can help you. How hard can it be to find six eggs? Yeah, that's why we came to the egg planet, to have an egg hunt. Really? You'll help? Okay, but I warn you, it's not all it's cracked up to be. The eggs can be hard to find and catch. Ah, there's one now. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you come back here. Ah, there you go. Safe and sound. 
pound. You did it! You caught the egg! One down, five more to go. Yoo-hoo! Little lost eggs! Shh! I hear something. Huh? is harder than it looks. We can do this. Ready? One, two, three! Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh! Oh! I did it! Look, I got it! Great! See? That was easy peasy. But we don't have time to waste, Orbit. We've got... <laughs> oh, Eggs to find. Besides, these flowers are making me sneeze. Mm. Oh. It sounds like you're getting a cold, Emma. That wasn't me who sneezed. Well, if it wasn't you, then... Who? <gasps> Look! An egg! I found an egg! No way I... You can't egg skate orbit! The egg hunter! Ha <laughs> ha! good at hiding. We found two. That means we need to find four more eggs. But where could they be? Hmm. <laughs> more in luck. Follow us. <laughs> All that running around must have tuckered them out. It's time for their egg nap. And look, they're fast asleep. Oh, they're so cute. If we're extra quiet, it should be easy to gather them up now. Now, Mr. Egg Warden. We need to sort the eggs into their special homes. The purple egg goes in the purple home. The blue egg goes in the blue. <laughs> the yellow egg goes... I know, in the yellow home. I guess the pink egg goes here. What do we do with this green one? One! There's only one green egg. There's supposed to be two. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're missing an egg. A green egg. Wait! I forgot! I put it in here for safekeeping. But why is it making that noise? <gasps> Uh-oh! <gasps> oh, no! It broke! Ooh! Wow! wow. A, A baby, baby chick. chick! How feathery! How cute! 
So this isn't just an egg sorting station, it's an egg nursery. Yes, and thanks to all of you, these eggs will hatch into baby chicks. But I hope they weren't too much trouble for you. Are you kidding? That was the most excellent egg hunt ever! This is one big mission accomplished! Yeah! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we went to the Egg Planet, where we met the Egg Warden. He needed help finding and sorting some lost eggs. So we went on an egg hunt. It was hard work, but we eventually rounded up and sorted all of the eggs. Even the one hiding in TK's tummy trunk. We got to watch the eggs hatch into baby chicks. It was egg extraordinary. Wonderful. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Enjoy a sweet treat with us. Come on! <gasps> it's time to break out the marshmallows. Mm -mm. <gasps> <gasps> ah! <gasps> <gasps> Squeak! You ate all the marshmallows! <gasps> now what do we do? There must be somewhere in the galaxy where we can find more marshmallows. Yes! And that sounds like we have a mission. Yeah. You know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace to get a fresh supply of marshmallows. What a sweet idea. Let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet. Pillows are soft and white like marshmallows, but you can't eat them. <laughs> the Book Planet? Hmm. That's a nice, quiet place to be mellow, but we want marshmallows. The Candy Planet. That's a great place to look for marshmallows. The Candy Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Robots! 
It's marshmallows! Marshmallows? Yummy, yum! Here I come! No! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sweet Tooth. You can tell he loves sweets with a smile like that. Nice to meet you, Sweet Tooth. I'm Rob, and my friends and I were wondering if we could share in some of those tasty marshmallows. <laughs> Wait! <gasps> <gasps> Oh, I love marshmallows. Oh, oh, oh. Toothache, huh? I know what you need. The Cosmic Clean Toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. If you brush your teeth for just two minutes twice a day, your teeth will stop hurting yeah. you, Sweet Tooth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Huh? Sweet Tooth, come back! We're just trying to help. Uh, oh. Hey, guys, what about our marshmallow mission? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! There's tons of marshmallows down there. Marshmallows? <laughs> See? Mucho marshmallows! Wow! Mmm, smell that <laughs> marshmallowy sweetness! I'd rather taste it! <laughs> Woohoo! Yippee! Mmm, marshmallow. <laughs> Try. You'll be glad you did. Honest. Yeah, that's it. Keep brushing. Mmm, minty. See? Doesn't that feel great? Oh, I love toothbrushing. Now you have the brightest smile on Candy Planet. Jump harder, Orbit? Not after eating all those marshmallows! Orbit and Emma are down there? Oh no! We've got to get you out of there! There's marshmallow geysers about to erupt! <laughs> Greasy gears! You're really stuck! Gear grease! Great idea, Rob! That's exactly what we need! Cave is gonna blow! Sweet tooth! Move! <laughs> 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 oh, thank you! If you 
keep them brushed and wash those sweets. They'll stay that way. But I love sweets. A little bit is okay, but too many sweets in a day aren't good for you. I'll say, I don't want to look at another marshmallow. Me neither. Huh? Well, not for today anyway. But let's make sure we take some home for later. <laughs> Good idea, Emma. And I'd say that's a marshmallow mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? planet to get more marshmallows and met a candy lover with bad teeth named Sweet Tooth. He needed us to teach him that too many sweets are bad and brushing your teeth is good. And after Emma and Orbit ate up all the marshmallows, they learned having too many sweets can leave you feeling pretty icky. And that sounds like the perfect ending to a successful mission. But now, it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Sweet Tooth. Goodbye, Candy Planet. inside a rocket, whoa, floating through outer space. But for some reason, we're all floating inside the rocket too. Oh, huh? 18, 19, 20 pirouettes. Oh, Emma, please stop spinning. I, I think I'm going to lose my lug nuts. I would if I could, but I can't. Oh, oh TK, can you see what the problem is? The gravity boosters are acting up again. We don't have any gravity in the rocket. That's the force that pulls everything to the ground. Ah, there we go. All fixed. Uh-oh. Ah! The floor. Yes. <laughs> exactly where my dreads belong. But we're astronauts, huh? Orbit. We should be good at floating in space. Maybe we just need to practice. Hey, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can practice our astronaut skills. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Baseball planet? Hmm. That'll help with my curvo, but not our space skills. The bedtime planet? Ha! <laughs> I don't think we need any practice sleeping. <laughs> yeah! The Space Camp Planet! Yes, the Space Camp Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
Next stop, the Space Camp Planet. Feeling is heavy now. Trainer. Astronauts, like us, spit inside it to get used to the feeling. <laughs> Why would we want to get used to feeling dizzy? Imagine if our rocket was whirling around in space. Even if we felt dizzy, we'd need to be able to work the controls. Give it a spin, Orbit. I don't know. Come on, Orbit. We want to be better astronauts, don't we? Sure. I guess. <laughs> this is pretty fun! Whoa! <laughs> now try to turn it off while you're spinning! I think so. <gasps> <clears throat> Something's wrong with my voice box. It's a good thing you've got your tools, TK. Astronauts like us are ready for anything. Uh, almost anything. Ah! Ah! Watch out for the color! <laughs> oh, blaster. <laughs> Rob, the Robo Arm. Huh? Ah! 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 Hey, it's easier to move around if you just pretend you're swimming. Huh? Ah! Yeah, that is better. Ah! 
We need more gravity in here, guys! Remember, it's the force that pulls everything to the ground, even us. How are we gonna reach the controls? Wait, I know! My rocket boots! you learn on your mission? <laughs> we went to the space camp planet to improve our astronaut skills. Orbit gave the multi-axis machine a whirl to get used to spinning. But it wasn't long before things got out of control. You see, gravity pulls everything to the ground. When there was too much, it was too hard to move. But when there was too little, we floated in the air, and so did everything else. But what we learned most was that astronauts have to be ready for anything. And we were. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone, you're just in time. The gang and I are really shaping up. Actually, we're making shapes with clay. We've been making models of our favorite things. <clears throat> we artists prefer to call them sculptures. Like my sculpture of a pair of dance slippers. And my sculpture of a wrench. And my sculpture of squeak. Wow. That's amazing, Orbit. I can't tell which is the sculpture and which is the real squeak. Oh! You're a very good artist, Orbit. Thanks! I love doing artwork. Now let's see your sculpture, Rob. Wow! It looks just like Rocket. Cool! That's amazing! Oh! Rockin' Rockets. It won't stand up. <laughs> Rockin' Rockets is right. Why does it keep falling over? I don't know. TK, could I borrow your anti-gravity controller? There! Huh? Now it's standing. Rob, isn't that cheating? I think you need to find a way to make it stand up on its own. You're right. But what did I do wrong? Why won't it stand up? Oh, hey, maybe there's a place we can go to help us figure that out. Yeah, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? 
We want to go to a place where we can find out why my sculpture won't stand up. All right. I think I can help you straighten things out. Let's see where you can go. Old West Planet? That would be great if we wanted to be cowboys. Yeah. But today we're artists. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> the Museum Planet. Maybe one day Rob's sculpture will be in a museum. But we'll need to fix it first. <gasps> the Art Planet. <laughs> I'll bet there's lots we can learn about fixing sculptures there. Yeah! Yes, the Art Planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Model rocket, rocket. Do you like it? Huh. It doesn't stand up straight like you do, but we're here to fix that. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow! This place is artastic. This is a really weird work of art, but I like it. Me too. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. That's because art can be anything you like. It can come from your imagination, uh, or it can come from something real, like a big, strong robot holding up a planet. Oh, wow. Oh. I think I'd tip right over if I was holding a big, heavy planet like that. <laughs> Whoa. I like him. He looks really strong. Oh. Don't be sad, Rob. If we study how this robot stands up straight, Maybe that'll tell us why your rocket keeps tipping over. <gasps> huh? Look, you guys! There's another sculpture over here! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way it twirls! Whee! Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> it makes me dizzy. <sighs> don't get too dizzy, Orbit. Yeah, you don't want to... <gasps> clunk into anything. <laughs> I'm okay. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no! no. Look, Look out! out. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Orbit, you broke the sculptures. Ah! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Orbit. Mm. Ah! Whoa! <sighs> Whoa! Oh no! Those balls are going to wreck everything! What'll we do? We have to stop them and put those balls back where they belong before they ruin our planet. But they're so big and heavy, how can we stop them? Hmm. I have an idea. Watch me. Bob, what are you doing? You can't stop it on your own. Mm -mm. You're not Robot Atlas. Uh. He did it! He stopped it! Wow! Leave you up is a Robot Atlas. Uh. Uh. 
now we have to put them in the right places. Uh, how in the galaxy can we do that? They're too happy to live. Oh, I ruined our planet. Hmm. No, you didn't, Orbit. Nothing's too happy. When we use my... Anti-gravity oh. controller. Yes, good thinking, TK. May I? Orbit, you're the artiste. Do you remember where these balls should go? I sure do. I remember exactly. The colored balls go there and there. That's one. That's two. And that's it. It's fixed. Yay! Yay! Ooh. Yep, they're not falling off. How does it do that? It's because both balls are exactly the same. It's perfectly balanced. Look at me. I'm Robot Atlas. <laughs> 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 Yay! Yeah. Good work, Rob. Uh, and how come he doesn't tip over? That's because he's standing very straight and perfectly balanced. Yeah, just like Rocket. <gasps> Look, my Rocket model isn't standing straight. It's crooked. See, it leans to one side. That makes it off balance, which is why it keeps tipping over. So, how can you fix it? It's easy. All I need to do is adjust the rocket fins and... Oh, ta-da! It's fixed! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! You did it, Rob! <laughs> Your rocket's standing up! <laughs> and staying up! And that's what I call a big mission accomplished! Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> My rocket sculpture kept tipping over, so we went to the art planet to find out how we could fix it. We were amazed by all the different kinds of sculptures artists make. But Orbit was too amazed and bumped into some of the sculptures. We found a way to fix them again, then discovered that when it comes to making your own sculpture, you have to keep it balanced so it won't tip over. As soon as I fixed the fins on my model, it stood up all by itself, just like our big rocket. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, our planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time for story time. We love Andy's adventure so much that I decided to write my own Andy the Android story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, Andy the android was flying through space. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses. <laughs> where the princess is trapped. But, oh, just as Andy was about to save the fairy planet princess from the wicked robo-pigs, he... he... What? what? Um, well, that's the problem. I don't know what. Each time I think of an ending, it doesn't feel like the ending of a real Andy the Android story. Hmm. Maybe there's a place we can go that could help. A place to inspire the perfect ending to your story. Yes! What a great idea! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Mission 
control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need help to find a great ending for my story. Oh, my. Sounds like a troubled tale. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? That's a great place for making muscles, but not for making up stories. Hmm. Ball Planet is a great place for bouncing balls, but not for bouncing around story ideas. <gasps> hey! The Storybook Planet! That Yay! sounds perfect! Yay! Yes, the Storybook Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Familiar? Where are we? Weird. This house is made of straw? <gasps> and this one's made of sticks. And I bet the last house is made of bricks. These houses are from the Three Little Pigs. We're in a real story. Wow, now's my chance to see how a real story really works and ends. Well, I don't see any pigs around, so why don't we be the Three Little Pigs? Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means I'm the Big Bad Wolf. Roar! <laughs> what happens next? Oh, right! I remember! Like this brick house is big, bad, wolf proof. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! I love how the three pigs stood up to that big, bad wolf. You should try something like that, Rob. Uh, it is a great ending, but I don't think it's right for my story. Let's keep looking. Come on! <laughs> the giant pile of mattresses. Hey! I know this story. It's the princess and the pea, one of my favorites. Me too. In this story, they kept looking and looking until they found the one true princess. <gasps> one princess, at your service. <laughs> hey, this bed has a bump in it. <gasps> I think I feel the pea. <laughs> oh! I can still feel it! <laughs> that must be one big pea! <gasps> hey, if Emma can feel that little pea under all those mattresses... Then we found our one true princess! How's that for a fun ending, Rob? 
It's good, but I'm not sure how it fits into my story. I have a princess, but I don't have peace. <laughs> Rockin' robots! That's a giant beanstalk! So this story must be... Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk! Wow! <laughs> this story has a brave hero just like my story. He rescues the goose that lays the golden eggs. Yeah, but this story also has a big, meanie giant. Aww. Be my yeah. uh. Stay away from my goose or you'll hear from me. You see? Don't go up there, Rob. But how else will I see how this story ends? Don't worry, Orbit. I'll be careful. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Giant, it is I, Rob the Robot. <gasps> oh no! The giant is chasing Rob! I've got it! You guys, I've got the golden goose! Be huh? my bow boo! Put down that goose, or I'll get you! Ah! Look out! I don't think I like this story! Do you think Rob is okay? Oh, I hope so. I know so. I'm okay. Ta-da! Wow, you did it, Rob. He saved the goose that laid the golden eggs. <laughs> awesome! Super terrific! That was the most exciting ending ever. But there aren't any giants in my Andy the Android story. <sighs> I don't think there's one story on this whole planet with the right ending. Not for my story, anyway. <gasps> You're right, Rob. There isn't one story. There are three. Each of the stories we were in had bits and pieces that were also in your story. Remember? <gasps> Emma's right. There was a princess, a hero, and pigs. But how does that help my story? You can do it, Rob. You'll think of a great ending. Don't give up. Hey, that's it! Don't give up! That's the one thing in all three stories that's the same. Jack never gave up. In The Princess and the Pea, they never gave up looking for the princess. Even the three little pigs never gave up. And do you know what else? What? Andy the android never, ever gives up. <gasps> I think I know how to end my story. Yeah! Awesome! Yeah. Tell us, Rob! <laughs> it could go something like this. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, where the princess is trapped. As the mean robo-pigs get closer, Andy and the princess leap off the tower, falling and falling until... the flying book swoops in to catch them, just in time. The end. <laughs> it's perfect! Thank you! And do you know what else? It's also another perfect mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Storybook Planet hoping to find just the right ending for my Andy the Android adventure story. It had lots of books filled with great stories, but none of them felt exactly like the story that I wanted to tell. I almost gave up, but thanks to my friends, I kept trying. And that's when I came up with the perfect ending for my story. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four,